one more here. I want to do another defect run, because we did not... We did not aggregate last time. And we need to aggregate now that that card has been hella buffed. Beatings. Hella buffed, I say. Wow, what a spicy act one. Elite fire elite. Into fire elite and another elite. We can take 100 gold and then probably have a good chance of surviving this. Or we can go for the boss swap. I don't think it's Curse for 250 here, is it? Maybe it is correct to take Curse for 250. We have to spend 75 gold on a removal, but then we have 75 more gold to, uh, to put towards shop. My homies hate crack core. It's, it's not great. It's nice in the start of Act One, though. I've got a feeling about this 250 gold. Weird feeling. I'm gonna try it. Get a parasite. Okay, we'll lose three max health, but it won't uh, hurt us too bad in the opening combats. Or will it? Or will it? Pretty, pretty smooth first fight. Get a... Consume or a Claw? Two very different directions to lean in here. Consume is really good early game orb scaling, especially if we can upgrade it. Claw is not a flaw. Could have had Insert or Consume. It's true. Cat wants the claw. All right, I'll give it to them. You can do that. Please don't curse me again. It'd be really bad. Yes, free removal. Sweet. Get that stinky parasite out of here. Easy game. Pot's great. Here's for program. <laughs> it's back. Did we try again? Do we try again? I mean, rebound is pretty good with claw too. No, we we have to, right? We have to. Feels like we got a beam cell is going to be great. And there's a motion ship here. Ooh, there's an entropic brew too. There's a mango. The waffle. But if reprogram be a thing that we've taken, it feels like getting both the AoE card that scales well with strength and the source of vulnerable are going to be the takes here. That alongside probably a strike removal. Actually, no. If we're reprogramming, I'm going to remove dual cast. First. Or maybe zap? Remove zap first, then dual cast. Yeah, we're not taking that emotion chip. Or even the mango, I don't think. But beam cell, beam. Hard remove. Yes. Probably also this waffle, rather than like a potion. Gives us a little bit more health, up to 75 max health. Good place to be. A little bit worried about our first elite fight. It's okay. Not taking that mayhem. Alas. Look at that ring program go! Dunk done, Joe Worm. Almost a kill right there. 
Not beautiful. Pile driver. Draws one with the um, crack core. Hello World's also quite good, giving us some um, effective card draw. And I think Hello World is a really big deal for the upcoming Elite fights. If I want to take four Elites, actually, Hello World is, like, the best way to do that. Doing that. Taking that Hello World. So good, especially in Legavul in here. Really, really good. To reprogram Hello World Beam Cell Strike. We'll have to do. Mm. We'll save the attack plot for the Burning Elite. Oh, nice! Look, look at Hello World doing wonders here. Four damage and five block for zero energy. Good job. Really good job. What's that? You're gonna give me minus two, minus two? Joke's on you. That just puts me back to normal. So Barrage, Strike, Dual Cast is lethal. Good. Wow, really clean fight. We get Ice Cream, letting us conserve energy between turns, and Scrape or Double Energy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's pretty cool. Scrape is very exciting. Draw seven, or sorry, deal seven damage, draw four cards. Discard all cards drawn this way that don't cost zero. So that gets Beam Cell and Claw and anything else we might add to the uh, to the deck. Discard statuses. Let's take it. The uh, double energy with the ice cream is pretty good too. Really like the idea of. Uh, Oh dear. Okay, is this our attack potion time? I think so. All for one, nice. It's back the beam cell and the claw here. Good start, good start. Oh, good job. Hello, world. Very good job. So, 33, that's really unlikely. But, um... 20 is way better. Snow, yeah. Alright, really smooth uh, knob fight. We get Unceasing Top. Whenever you have no cards in hand during your turn, draw a card. Interesting. Turbo Hologram Skim. Also interesting. With the reprogram in the deck, as much as I love Ice Cream Turbo, I think we need to be able to get back that reprogram. With a hologram here. Turbo's great, though. <laughs> Make a shoe. What is this streamer even doing? Why is streamer even doing? It's happening. Turbo gets drawn by Scrape too, though. Take the hollow. We will take the next turbo we see. Two more elites, let's go. No. Oh no. <laughs> Do I take it? How, how mean can one run get? We're gonna get a dead branch. Okay. 
be great. That's a pretty good start, ornamental fan. If we play three attacks in one turn, is four block. Definitely like where that's headed. Ice cream putting in real work here. It's turn three. Let's um let's keep holding energy. We have unceasing top. This is gonna be great. turn. Got him. Beast pipe? No. No. Ooh. Ooh, steam barrier. Steam barrier reprogram? Ooh. The peace pipe allows us to remove cards at rest sites. Uh, I kind of regret uh, taking the shovel now. We cannot get Gurya because we have two campfire relics. Steam barrier looks really good. Taking it. Taking it. Can't stop me. Um, this might stop me though. Like real talk. Crushing everything though. Somehow. Cultist potion, one strength per turn. Can't set a compile driver, which is basically just a worse sweeping beam. Don't have enough powers for force field to be good. This feels like a skip. Certainly don't want cool headed with uh, negative focus, right? Alright, last elite is gonna be the sentries here. Gambler's Brew. Still not what I wanted. Looking for a uh, reprogram in particular here. Uh, I guess I'll just block for one. It's gonna hurt. We have Hexagos coming up though, so it's okay to take 20 here. Just banking one rather than defending for five, because I think the energy will be more useful after reprogram is in play. What the hell? Ouch. At least we get an ornamental fan proc here, but yikes. 16 health down the drain. smooth. Second steam barrier here. And we have unceasing top. I need to dig that. Loop is not going to be good with our stinky orbs and again heat sinks is card draw but only with more powers which we don't have. Take one more steam barrier and we're going to take an event before going into hexaghost here. Altus Potion to get a Relic? I 
Tour. Prayer Wheel. Normal enemies drop an extra card reward. What a weird set of relics so far. I feel like for this Hexaghost fight, we need to upgrade the Beam Cell to be successful. Upgrading the Hologram, not bad either. But it's going to be a little bit behind the curve damage-wise. Scrape will discard all of this? Sure. Oh, wow. Good job, Scrape. So, four strength and four decks now. Called going places. And that's, I think, about all you need out of the reprogram is four. Four strength, four dex, and you're you're starting to be quite devastating. Any more than that? Well, wow. you're just doing really well. Twelve block steam barrier, you betcha. Crazy fight. Didn't even feel hard. These rares are not what I'm looking for, though. Nothing that scales well with Strength or Dex. Rainbow is not good with Focus. Amplify is good for duplicating powers, but we just have Hello World. And Multicast evokes our orbs, which we don't want either, so... Big old skip. Would have preferred to see a Seek, um, Hyper Beam, maybe even a Meteor Strike. Actually, yes, a Meteor Strike, because we have Ice Cream. Oh well. Skipping ain't too bad. Really would have liked to see a uh, fusion hammer here, because we could definitely just dig and toke our way to victory. With the ice cream, it definitely feels like an extra energy relic is going to be good. I don't mind the coffee dripper here. Prevents us from resting, but one more energy per turn is not too shabby here. Empty Cage is also pretty powerful, letting us remove two of the worst cards from this deck. Really slimming it down for us. But I think with the ice cream, we're going to do better off with uh, the Dripper. Not going to take Curse Key. We don't have our blue key yet. Two chests at least left to be unlocked. And I really don't want to deal with Curses in a deck that has an unceasing top. But that was a rel relatively good Empty Cage, for sure. So if we want to go up like this way... Remove one card, remove two cards. Card removals are really, really, really good. We want to get all the strikes and almost all the defense gone from this deck. Sooner rather than later. Option to take Madness, would I? I would take upgraded Madnesses. Don't think I would take unupgraded ones. So go like this way. We're pretty good at elite fights, right? Oh, and we get uh, bonus... Yeah, let's take regular combats. They're particularly rewarding. Particularly. Okay, don't play this. A uh, medical kit in the store, please. Please. Desperately, please. Okay, we'll go for the one damaging us for 15. First and foremost.
Turn could be rough with the Ascender's Bane. Do I try to draw it? I think so. Good. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Beam plus. Yeah, I like that. And here's the aggregate! Gain an energy for every four cards in the draw pile. Recycle also looking really, really good with the um, unceasing top and the ice cream. Definitely taking the beam plus though, right? So is it? Is it aggregate or is it recycle? I feel like it's gonna be... I want to try out the new aggregate. I want to see how much energy this can generate for us. I think it's a lot. A lot, a lot. Just another copy. Double aggregate unceasing top nonsense. Let's go. I take a potion belt here, which is pretty nice. Definitely down to just remove strikes. Definitely down to just remove strikes. A reboot does go with aggregate sometimes. Self repair can let us heal. That ain't bad. Would really like a medical kit in this shop. I'm just gonna cut a strike. We're gonna cut cards pretty aggressively. Um, at this juncture, the more cards we can remove, the better. And with the peace pipe, we can remove quite a few cards. It's dunked all the important stuff. Dang it. Two energy? Amazing. What are my thoughts on Hello World now? Seems really bad to you as it makes Unceasing Top in this deck? Yes, but the Unceasing Top is already un unreliable because of the Ascender's Bane. That's part of the problem. That and any status cards you might find. So it's like... Yes, bad, but also not really. Kind of weird. If this was meant to be my uh, X pot, feels like yes. Well, maybe not. Eh. That worst days. All for one. Put all cost zero cards from the discard pile back into our hands. That's Beam Cell, Claw, Steam Barrier, Steam Barrier. And there's a Leap Plus if we want another decentish block card. Or Equilibrium, which can be good too here. Let us retain stuff in our hands. Definitely take the All for One, yeah? Take that leap, that's so good. Seven energy, let's go. Hologram aggregate for more energy. These drink bottle, I guess. Can't draw Cinder's Bane yet, thankfully. Discard it was scrape.
Stick a whale. Draw five and randomize the cost of cards in our hand. Could be good, could be bad. There's that self-repair. This time it's free, and I think with free... Free is a good enough price to pay. With the coffee dripper. For some healing. Whenever you shuffle the draw pile, gain six blocks, says Abacus. We want one dex to start out. The smooth stone is here. Or the data disc for a focus. But I'm not too interested in that. I almost just want to remove here. Purity also kind of interesting. Could get rid of some stuff for us, but we have to get it into our hand first. Easier said than done. I'm just gonna remove a card. Uh, given that we just added Leap Plus, we can remove a Defend. Actually, Dual Cast is our uh, worst card by far. That's right. Dual Cast is way worse. If only we could buy Overclock and, you know, get rid of the burn. Oh well. Critting Aggregate. Per three cards instead of per four cards means we get six energy on turn one here. Six. It's a lot of energy. We drew all for one? I think that means we're gonna snack oil, by the way. Oh yeah, we are. Draw five cards, randomize the cost of cards in hand. Got zero cost leap. Good. Fortunately, all for one ended up three costs, but that's fine. Get back. Just beam cell and the um, steam barriers, huh? It's fine. Bank the two energy rather than wasting it on strike. <laughs> Five more energy, let's go. Wow. That's crazy pants. Do I draw a scrape, so... Unbelievable fight. Crazy good fight. Hey, Rudon. Quick rundown of the new changes. Basically, all the least popular cards for uh, Silence, Ironclad, and Defect got some buffs. So Defect got a rework to reprogram, which is now two strength and two decks. Um, Aggregate got a big numeric buff, down to three, and Scrape draws uh, one more card now. No buff to set up, tragically. That's that's unfortunately true. Deeply unfortunately true. Dig or toke? Toke. A boot! Not today, boot. Not today. Oh, <laughs> look at this aggregate! What is this? You guys seeing this? 11 energy, thanks to Aggregate. What? Better believe I'd bottle that Aggregate. Happy times.
back. Beam cell, good. Thanks for being fun. Eight five, not a kill. It's to you though. Oh no, it's not. Lord. Should we just have a kill on leader? Oh yeah. Wow. First time we lose health each combat draw is very good. Upgrades to free but unnecessary. Auto shields plus does scale well with what we have, but it's conditionality. It only works if you have no block already. I think that's really a problem, especially with the top. So, we can skip all of that. Let's do one more elite. We are crushing it right now. Hey, this is also an elite fight. An elite fight that rewards us with the red mask for weaken on turn one. That's good stuff. Steam Barrier can go down to negative, uh, skip this. If you play Steam Barrier for negative block, it won't actually lower your block. Um, but it, it does counteract dexterity, I believe. Let's see, 4 plus 15 plus 6 is and 25, 34. Before Romeo, we're not immune to weekend on this this one. Double steam barrier, I like it. Surely. Surely not. Six. Hologram Claude is six. Good. The Red Mask. Start of each combat, apply one week to all enemies. There's a turbo, but turbo ruins the unceasing top. I don't think we want that. Charge battery is not bad. You can charge battery plus. I don't take any of these unupgraded. Yeah, glass knife probably also similar. That sounds about right. Oh, this might be our dex pot fight. For now, it doesn't matter. This is definitely a spooky combat right now. See, 14 plus 5 is still not enough. So I got a hollow leap anyway. A leap hollow leap anyway. Okay, we can rebound the steam barrier. For some good block here. I think it is time we use the deck spot. Go rebound, put steam barrier back on top, and then scrape is guaranteed to draw claw barrier barrier. That seems pretty good.
should have rebounded the aggregate bottle here. Wow. Full health. And a white bee statue giving us a uh, potion after every combat reward. Kind of dig another beam cell here. More vulnerable uptime, more artifact removal, just another zero cost attack to put in the deck with the ornamental fan. Really like it. I think I'd prefer a go for the eyes plus, but I'll take the beam cell. Purple Fire Spirits allow us to donate a card. Could get rid of the all for one for 10 max health. I think we'll just keep removing uh, starter cards here. Seems ultimately fine. Oh, rip aggregate. Unfortunate. And all for one. Dang you, scrape. How dare you. Ooh. I got self repair. It's only seven damage. Yeah, the hologram is a pretty important upgrade, too. I think we should probably make a priority of that. Let's go for the eyes is here. Wait, no, he's pluses here. Sure. And maybe? Collector, if that is your real name. Just gonna wait here. Thanks, some energy. Get aggregate in play. Plus three. Not too bad. Got rid of our Ascender's Bane, so we are free to unceasing top here. Oh my, we got a random hologram for reprogram. Yes. Times. Good turn. More energy. for one. EG nerd. Destroyed. Totally destroyed. And here's a seek. 
Seek can help us, one, find aggregate for tons of energy, uh, and two, it can find our Ascender's Bane to get it out of the draw pile. We're not generating lightning orbs for Thunderstrike, we're not generating any orbs for Bias, so it's Seek or nothing, and Seek is way better. Seek is way better. Swap that, uh, plated armor out. Hey, here's Fusion Hammer! Even more energy per turn, but we can no longer upgrade our cards. Who needs to upgrade cards when we have, um, Peace Pipe and Shovel to choose from, right? So that's an option. Could transform and upgrade three cards with the Astrolabe, just strike, strike, defend, turn them into who knows what. They could get a lot better. Hmm. Interesting choices. Are orbs just bad now? Yes. Like in general, or <laughs> here? To take the fusion hammer. Five base energy per turn. Copy to perfusion hammer synergy. And then the strat is to get more relics and just play more cards. I do think we need to be looking at shops. This deck has two very powerful shop relics we can put into it. One, medical kit would open up the unceasing top in a really big way. Two, frozen eye would do almost the same thing by letting us see when the statuses are coming up and planning our draws around them. So I think because of that, we want to take a route through two stores, two chances at the game-winning shop relics. Orange pellets? Eh. <laughs> like, we don't benefit from getting our focus back that much. The Being able to remove vulnerable from us for heart would be good, though. Start here. And we're getting again double cards from the prayer wheel, which is so good. So good. There's a double energy here. I'm going to take both of those. Wait, why is my beta art not enabled? Hello? We saw the Epicus in a shop, and I think decided not to buy it. But I agree it would be pretty nice. Uh, feels like I'm getting back a leap, huh? Three AoE? My god. This will get back the beam. Gets me all for one. Perfect. Smooth. Skim plus. It's a lot of card draw. I 
I like card draw. With five base energy, card draw seems good. Yeah? Feeling about blessing. Mm, we'll take liquid memories over uh, distilled chaos. Too late for the genetic side quest? I think so. Just a little bit too late. A little bit. Ooh, designer inspire. Remove a card. Remove a card and upgrade a random card. Probably just remove a card. Every removal we can get is extremely valuable. Yo, ink bottle, thank you. I guess this is a good use of liquid memories then. Get back our all for one here. Streamline Plus. Hmm. That actually gets pretty powerful. I think we need it, though. Maybe not my favorite turn one of all time, but we got it. Got it. Hologram. Definitely would like another hologram in this deck. That much is certain. for Hello World to go. Eventually. It's good, but it sometimes generates stuff that uh, we don't want, like turbos. the hologram and it's upgraded yes 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 big yes two holograms is a block engine for us because we can cycle them especially with some dexterity um we'll take the essence of darkness probably just use it in the first fight that we encounter This one seems fine. The energy very much.
still shocked we have only found one claw. It's crazy pants. <laughs> Go for the eyes does 35 damage. Got him. And more max health, always appreciated. Scrape number three. Yes! Scrape number three. I'm in. Hyperbeam, not too bad either, though. Not too bad. Let's go plot here. Mm. Five, five, eight, almost. Almost. Scrape goes burr. Doesn't it though? Slots, oh boy. Maybe? Time Eater could give me some problems. That pick madness is given the choice. I don't think so. Although madness on the uh, all for one would be pretty sweet. I think one more steam barrier. And we said something about shop relics, so let's look at the shops. Chemical X. The effect of our cost X cards are increased by two. As well as a reinforced body to go with it. That's kind of nice, but that spends all of our ice cream energy. We're rarely activating Art of War. FTL's not that good. Feels like a skip. We look at more relics and stuff in the next shop, maybe remove a card if we don't see anything good. But this is this is not the kind of game winning stuff we're looking for. We want a kunai or a shuriken or a frozen eye or a medical kit. Not any of this. <laughs> and remove it the next shop if we need to. Let's recall now. Just make sure I don't forget to do that. And then maybe remove Hello World later. Question mark. I love the ink bottle. It's so good. Okay, we get a stinky wound added, so we can't can't do the full unceasing top thing. unfortunate for us. Four. Whites. Nice. Keeping beam ended up on top, right where it belongs. Get him, sweeping beam. Ha! Ah. More beams, please.
<laughs> he said it's good. Cultist Potion could be good. Here's another chance at Recycle. It would never be an upgraded Recycle, though. Oh, I don't think that's quite good enough. Upgraded, yes. Unupgraded, no. Gambling Chip is here. As is uh, Ori. Look at five cards. Still not a, neither of the relics I was looking for, though. This game is somewhat tempting. Could be claws in that Ori. Could be machine learnings. Quite a few things. This, this is tempting. Recycle can remove statuses and curses in the middle of combat. Yep, can exhaust those. This is tough. How are we gonna beat the heart with this? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Big hmm. Really need to play the reprogram over and over again. We're very dependent on just the one copy. I'm gonna skip. Feels weird to not buy anything here, but we need we need that final shop to be something good, right? Upgraded it might be, we'll still take it. Dig or toke. Strikes out of the deck. Oh yeah, fusion! I didn't even think about the fusion. Genuinely. Okay, aggregate is... Seven energy there? Wow. That is many energies. Really good here. Really good here. Um, give me another four points of energy, I think. Ah, uh, no, let's reprogram again. Got plenty. And the uh, Ascender's Bane is in the draw pile, more importantly. Or is it? Oh. I think Bottle is going to mess with me here. Is it? This is 
scrapes for days. Unfortunately, we know all of the zero cost stuff is in the discard pile. But, curious what we managed to make happen here anyway. Oh, almost all of it. No! <laughs> you got me. Whatever, meal ticket will heal us to full in the uh, next act, right? Truly. Surely this will be fine. Who's next? No Time Eater, just the Awakened One. Cool. Awakened One's a lot easier to deal with. You can just scale up with Reprogram. We only have uh, one real power to play. That's great. There it is. Hello, world. Doing it. Yeah, skip this. Nuclear battery would be we totally will, free. We will be watching. Nuclear battery would be totally free. Uh, let's seek for aggregate, actually. I was thinking about seeking for hologram, but like aggregate way more here. Bolton, thank you so much for the 10 months and that prime sub. You're so welcome for yet another chill stream. Super, uh, super happy to be here. Loving the new changes. I'm not gonna play that. <laughs> cool. Say it, call. Four monsters of four. We are extremely impressed. Well, and beam cell and steam barrier, good. And Cupad Pro, thank you so much for the four months and that tier one sub. Playing Hello World now? It's decided. Why exactly this has been decided is unclear to me. Were we the roll reverted? I don't think so. I I hope it continues to be this good though. But I'm not worried about it getting uh, reverted too much. Twenty-two energy. I'm hope aggregate might get nerfed though. It'd be tragic if it did.
GG, nerd. Dang. Dang. To thump, to thump, a deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of all this reprogramming? You charge your numbers to two. Feeling 24, 46. Wow. I'm, I'm really shocked by reprogram right now. Turns out doubling a card makes it better. Who knew? Who knew? Doubling a card makes it better. Alright, hello world. You might be good. But maybe you're not. You're not medical kit. You're not medical kit at all. Damn it. Gold plated cables don't do nothing. I like master strategy for some card draw. I think I like a duplication potion a lot too. Yeah, maybe remove Master Strategy, swap out for Dupe Pot. Some argument for Panacea, too. So that we can block Vulnerable from Heart. We don't have a Recycle, no Cryo G. We're just going to have to kind of deal with the statuses from Heart. And from uh, Spire Spear Spire Shield. It could be really ugly. It could be really, really ugly. Yeah, and it works with, like, it eats our uh, artifact with the reprogram. Yeah, Scrape is scrape is going to have to do the work, I think. Swap out Blessing here. And get rid of, I don't know, a Defend? Or we can get rid of Self-Repair, too. Self-Repair gets itself out of the deck. Let's get rid of a Defend. Okay, good luck to me. Ancient T set's gonna give me two energy on turn one. That's pretty relevant here. Fortunately, we drew a Sender's Bane on turn one. That's not good. That's not good at all. I even call that bad. And then we'll have two day, uh, two burns put on top of the draw pile next turn. So I suspect we don't get to use our energy very well. So while we can, like, seek energy gain, what we should probably do is get, like, a reprogram going. So let's draw first. And then see what we still need to seek. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, we've got all for one here. Program is here. For one to get back. Go for the eyes, steam barrier, and claw. It's time to start scraping. Unceasing topping anyway. If we're lucky we can kill next turn, but I, I think that would require quite a bit of luck. Yikes. Sorry about that. Oh my god, hologram! Yes, 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 that's a lifesaver. Because we have six energy, so we can go hologram or hologram. Or hologram, or hologram, 
for hologram, for hologram, for steam barrier, and then we don't take any damage. How's that? Whew. That was lucky. That was really lucky. Looking good too. Order. Fine. Run. Seems good. Ink bottle will be at nine here. Turtle feather does nothing. Power potion potentially does something. I think the cultist pot and the duke pot will serve me better. Better, 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 better. We have 85 health, decent relics, and a chance, I think, going into the heart fight here. Our dupe is probably, realistically, just going to be on, like, reprogram to get the strength index going up quicker. Definitely yes. Oh, we have a Centennial Puzzle, too, right? Echo form, machine learning, buffer. Yeah, those would have been the good ones, right? Those would have been the good ones. It's a really good all for one. We drew almost every zero cost card in the uh, in the deck here, and I can hologram it and do it again. Nice. Oh, and we got seek. Now that's lucky. Okay, so we're going to seek for reprogram, get the strength of the decks going right away here. holograms and a bunch of scrapes. Oh, hologram! That's how we're gonna survive, actually, with all the statuses. Is these holograms are gonna do all the work for me. I can find them. Yeah! Because we can just hologram for hologram. For hologram for hologram. Guess we're doing creative AI things, too? Now we can hologram for hologram. What extent will we do so? Not that much, I guess. So I really need to get rid of the stuff in my hand now? A bit. 
Buffer, you're too late! Buffer, no. No, Buffer. Bad dog. Okay, we've got all for one. Bruh. Hold some energy here. This looks like a really good draw pile. Uh, I need every point of block I can get. Okay. Hello World is back! Love it. You'll love to see it. But this is looking good. We've got um we've got two holograms and all for one in my hand. We can get back the reprogram a bunch of times. Two steam barriers in there too. So I think this ends up being hologram for reprogram, play the reprogram, hologram for reprogram again, play it again. Up to 12 points of dexterity here. Steam barrier all day, every day. Even get the Hello World in play. Damage cap on this turn, let's go. Okay, four times fifteen. That's not too hard to block. It's only sixty damage, right? Charge battery, hologram charge battery is almost enough. Gives us two energy next turn. So we survive technically. But skim gets us even more in the realm of not dying. I think we should play some cards. Three cards is six damage taken, but four block gains. Might get uh, go for the eyes or another steam barrier. Hole blocked. Let's go. Let's go. Just hologram that all for one. Yes. GG Twitch chat. The reprogram gets there again. GG. Wow. Wow. Crazy. We got all the cards. Aggregate, Reprogram, and Scrape. Three copies of Scrape in an A20 heart-killing deck. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. GG. GG, everybody. Holy crap. Don't know what to say to that other than amazing. And 4-0, by the way, today on uh, our A20 Heart Runs, just testing out and trying the new cards. That's pretty lucky. I think I have to highlight all four of these runs. <laughs> wow. Meow, what? Has it been done? Spire sleeps, and so shall I. GG, everybody. GG. Yeah, we did try out the silent buffs, so we had a, a reprogram win on A20 with defects. We had this silent Mark of the Bloom 
double tools of the trade, double eviscerate, crazy pants nonsense, that one. We had Ironclad with um, double Dark Embrace. Uh, no actual really new cards in this one, just like, Magnetism? <laughs> that was an A20 heart kill. And then the first defect run was a Sneko start into, you guessed it, double Reprogram Plus. Because that wins now, apparently. So, preliminary verdict on the new reprogram. I think it's pretty dang good. It turns out two and two strength and dex. You really do need the upgrade, but plus two plus two is enough scaling to keep pace with bosses. Um, you saw that in these these reprogram runs, right? We we just outscaled Donu and Deca. Um, we had yeah, we 18 damage in both cases. We were able to get past Time Eater as well. Although I apparently... Oh, I remember. Yeah, we took a lot of damage to Time Eater. Because he was rude. Bites were a cool part of this run. I've never had a series of four runs quite like this. That's for sure. That's for sure. Yeah, aggregate with X-Cost cards instead of zero cost in the Unceasing Top. For sure. I think um, being able to generate, you know... We saw that this was frequently four to five free energy when we play it. Compared to Turbo, which is Remember, three free energy and you get a void. Crazy. Scruffus, thank you so much for the Prime sub and the 15 months. Just three less till that full year. Wait, what? And yeah, we had some, we had some crazy synergies going on. Five energy, ice cream, unceasing top. Nonsense. Tough heart fight, but we had just enough to survive with the hologram nonsense. That one big turn where we took a bunch of damage, but I, I willingly played both the slimed and the self-repair, by the way, I think that was really instrumental in actually winning the hard fight. Just getting those junk cards out of the draw pile so that we could actually draw and play what we needed to. It was really good. Really, really good. Wow. Alrighty, well, it's been a fantastic four runs exploring the new patch. Tomorrow, we will be back, not later than noon Eastern Standard Time, with some more Slay the Spire. Probably do a few more um, runs on the beta branch here, with the new changes. Uh, and possibly pick up the Tiny House Ladder again tomorrow. Or check something else out. Let's see... throw a let's throw a raid on over to Terrence MHS who's doing some A20 runs on the new patch very 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 talented uh, Spire Slayer one of the best in fact when it comes to Ascension 20 heart killing I'm sure he'll have some fairly valuable Insight on the new stuff. Your raid message is reprogram confirmed OP. Send that in uh, Terrence's chat. Say hello for me. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Ta ta for now. We'll be back tomorrow. 